Hi, Jen here. Today, we're going to achieve this purple eyeshadow holiday glam. I've done my eyebrows already. I love how they look. I used a Dollar Beauty Supply Store eyeliner pencil. I used to use this product when I first started doing makeup, but I've realized why it's still available in Beauty Supply Store because it's doing a pretty good job. I'm going to start by priming my eyelids. I am using my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. For today's glam, I am using the James Charles eyeshadow palette using a morphe m56 brush i will be going in with this brown eyeshadow and i am packing this on my outer v to blend the edges i am going in with a lighter brown this is acting like my transition shade i'm going back with the first brown shade i used to add it back on the outer V. On my eyelids, I'm going in with this deep purple shade. This purple is serving as a base for the shimmer shadow we're gonna add on it later on. To add a little bit of definition on my outer V, I will be mixing black eyeshadow with the deepest brown of the palette. And I'm using a Morphe M443 brush. To blend it in further, I'm going back with the Morphe M456 and the first brown shade I used in my outer eye. And I'm going back with my fluffy brush and to tie in everything together. Next, I am using this NYX Glitter Primer and I'm just gonna dot a little bit on my eyelids. Next, I'm going in with this Shimmer Purple Shade. I'm also using my finger to apply the purple shade. This palette is very old, but it performs so well. If you have it in your collection, get it out and use it. But before using it, if you haven't used it in a long time, please use 70% rubbing alcohol on it before using it. Okay. <laughs> now let's move on to the face. The first primer I am using is the Revolution Star Primer. This primer is discontinued, but you can use whatever hydrating primer for this step. Because I have oily skin, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Look Primer. For foundation today, I am using a mix of the Maybelline Superstay Foundation and the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation and the LA Girl Pro Pigment Foundation in the shade Blue to neutralize a bit my foundations. Oh no, before that, <laughs> I was too excited. Before that, I am using my L'Oreal Lumi Glow um, Glotion just to add a little bit more glow to my foundation because the Maybelline Superstay Foundation is very matte. Now we can go ahead with the foundation. I forgot how much I love the Maybelline Superstay and the Maybelline Fit Me mixed together. It really gives a beautiful finish. To bronze, I am using my e.l.f. Flawless Foundation. This is in the shade Chocolat Chocolate. I am using a dupe of the Sephora Collection number 47 brush but this brush i found it on aliexpress and it's way smaller than the original number number 47 brush and it's great for applying contour blush anything that requires a smaller brush for blush i'm using this maybelline blush stick For concealer, I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer.
I will be using this sponge to blend this out. To brighten under my eyes, I will be using again two concealers, one full coverage and one that has a very light coverage. For the fuller coverage, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. This one is in the shade 359 and I'm using the Brightening Pen by e.l.f. and this is in the shade ter Medium 32N. To set under my eyes, I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Setting Powder. This is in the shade Medium Deep 30. To set the rest of my face, I'm using these powders from NYX. To bronze and contour, I'm using the Black Radiance true complexion contour palette in the shade dark to deep and i will also be using my covergirl bronzer for blush i'm using the rimmel maxi blush in the shade rendezvous to brighten a little bit under my eyes i'm going in with the revolution banana deep powder on my lower lash line i will be using the deepest brown shade of the palette and i'm using a liner brush because i don't want it to go too far down then i am using a small pencil brush and i'm using uh, the first brown shade i used on my outer v to blend this out in my inner corner, I will be mixing uh, the white shimmer shade of the palette with the purple shimmer shade. I will be using this Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter, <laughs> but this one is um, silver, so I'm not gonna use too much. For mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Air Volume Mascara. It's a thickening mascara. It's not my favorite, but I'm using my product, so here we go. If you like fullness and thickening mascara, you're gonna love this one. I will be using the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara just to define my brow hairs a little bit more for my lower lashes i'm using this mascara in extreme lash dimension i love this one because it's a separating type of one so it's really gonna separate my lashes To line my lips, I use a beauty supply store a lip liner. For lipstick, I'm using this e.l.f. lipstick. On top of that, I'm using this I Heart Revolution lip gloss, and this is in the shade Salted Caramel. And I wanna use this Morphe lip gloss. All right, so this is it for this purple eyeshadow holiday glam. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe and join the squad <laughs> thank you so much for spending some time with me today and i will see you all on my next one Mwah.